exposed to severe levels of toxicity. The fact that no one's ever really been investigated for 9-11 or put in jail is still... Still, it's mind-boggling. Someday that will happen, though. I'm convinced. The truth will come out. Christy Todd Whitman lied, and it's been proven over and over again she lied, and her lying helped kill us. And she's going to be held accountable for that. Really, just, we have to grasp our understanding. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to any one of us. And we have to take the responsibility on ourselves to fix those wrongs that happen. The, the only way I could see us getting New York City back and us fulfilling the void that we have here is when the family members have all their questions answered. And when, the, when the, all the 50,000 50, first responders have the proper medical care and proper unemployment benefits that they deserve. That's the only way we could take the city back and get rid of that void that's in there. Because every time I pass by on a highway, every time I see this, the, the, the skyline without the towers there, it's a void and it pisses me off and every time I get angry. We are here in Times Square. Many people from other countries are here with us, know a lot about what's happening. The American public is still learning about the atrocity of that day. The American public is still learning that what we've been told by our government is not truth. We are informing people about the truth. The laws of physics do not lie. Hey, we're doing street accidents. Never gonna stop. See you, not 1107. We're gonna make history. <laughs> Not a lot of truth now. Let's begin 9-11. John Schroeder spoke of explosives going off throughout the building. He was one of the first firefighters in there. Ask yourself why none of us have heard that testimony. Everyone on that train now has a different perception. And you know what? One by one, we will affect change in this country. It's uh, July 2nd. We're in Effingham. So we've been here. We've been here about an hour. There's been no police contacts yet, so Effingham, Illinois, obeys the Constitution. City, come out here and talk to you. No, what can no. we do for you? City didn't come out and talk to you guys. Uh huh. Oh, all right. All right, just seeing what's going on. Real Christians don't choose war. Very good. Protesting the uh, the war. Well, not really. We're protesting Christian support of the war. You got the bad job here. You have to sit on the grass. You guys take turns. Uh... Well, he forgot his sign, so he's... <laughs> That's part of the punishment. He's, he's... I got the best job. I just pray. I mean, pray for the that. spirit to convict people. Nothing wrong with that. We're just getting ready to take off. All right. Where are you guys from? They're on FM or Denver. Denver? Yeah, we're walking across the country. So you guys going across country, heading to East Coast now, or? Washington, D.C. And then you're going to... Very good. Good luck to you guys. I just heard on the radio something about somebody in an orange jumpsuit. We didn't know we had someone escape from the uh, <laughs> sure. the sheriff's department. <laughs> All right, guys, good luck. Lord bless you, sir. You too. Comment on that. That's how a police contact should be. Constitutional. Didn't ask for our ID. Just got a call. Wanted to make sure we were all right. Police are here to serve us. We're trying to get down to meet up with our people. 
We just heard on the cell phone they're being harassed by the police right now. It may already be too late. We'll see what happens when we get there. We heard from you about an hour ago. We heard they were threatening to yes, yes. shut you down. What happened? Yes, yes. They denied the sound permit. They don't want to let us allow sound permit here. We're going to keep doing it no matter what. And we're going to use our voice no matter what. They can't stop us. We don't have to thank them for our right to be here and demonstrate. We're Shield, my friend, all right? Yeah, fucking take a look at it. Asshole. to be quiet right before we get on that one block that Geraldo was going live. Radio City Music Hall, just a couple of blocks uh, uptown from Fox World headquarters, went into her job as an assistant principal in an Ohio medical school. 9-11 was inside, we're in prayer. an inside job slowly. 9-11 is an inside job. And if you hear the shouting, it's a group of demonstrators who've come. 9-11 oh, was an inside job. Oh, get a life. Get a life. 9-11 was an inside job. 9-11 was an inside job. 9-11 was an inside job. And when we come back, we'll take you into the secret world of restroom gay sex. I think these demonstrators are all into restroom gay sex. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've been surrounded by uh, an activist, radical, I don't know, communist group. I don't know who the hell they are. 